What is up guys, RSC6414 here, back with another video. This time I am predicting Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. <laughs> Probably not, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and predict all the matches right now and maybe a little thoughts on each one. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. First match we have Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, the tag team champions versus the Usos, Jimmy and Jay. <clears throat> Overall, gotta say I'm glad the Usos are getting a title shot here. Uh, I really think it's well deserving. They've deserved it for a while now, but uh, I don't see them winning this, especially since it's the pre-show. I don't see them uh, there being a title change on the pre-show, but uh, it'd be cool. But I think Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins will win. Uh, at least I hope that's the case, and I think they will win. So my pick, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. The next match we have is Chris Jericho, Y2J's Most You Know Him, versus Ryback. This match is sort of an interesting one. Uh, Chris Jericho is known for putting guys over, obviously. Uh, Ryback has lost a lot of matches pay-per-view since he's debuted. And I think it's Ryback's time. Uh, I don't think I don't like how they're doing the cryback kind of thing. How he quit the, in the middle of the match against the Miz. That was pretty stupid in my opinion. Made him look weak and dumb. But I don't think uh, I don't think he'll lose this match. I think Ryback's going to prevail over Chris Jericho in what should be a pretty decent match. I hope Ryback can win. I think he needs this win more than Jericho because I think Jericho will probably be leaving the WWE, probably have one more pay-per-view match at SummerSlam, and then be off on his tour or whatever he does as a rock star. So I think Ryback will prevail, but uh, should be good here. Uh, next match we have Divas Championship match, AJ Lee being the champion versus Kaitlyn. Overall, uh, a lot of people are not really excited about this match, but I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about it. They've had some good build in Divas championship this feud's been building a while now about a month and a half um when Kaylin was AJ was revealed as Kaylin's secret admirer and uh won the title at um payback AJ Lee beat Kaylin for the title there uh it was a pretty good match and then recently Caitlin Caitlin uh flattened AJ Lee with the spear on raw uh, on Monday, and that was pretty interesting. So I'm interested to see uh, how who's going to win, but I definitely think it'll be AJ Lee. I think it's too early in her title run to get, to lose the title this early. She's only held it for like a month, so I think it wouldn't make much sense to have Caitlyn win here. So my pick here, AJ Lee to retain. Hopefully, it'll be pretty good. Next match we have is the Miz versus the Intercontinental Champion Curtis Axel's Intercontinental Championship match. Curtis Axel, I think, will win here. I don't see The Miz winning again. Curtis Axel held the title uh, for about a month now after his win at Payback in that triple threat match when uh, he became champ. He's only lost one match as a Paul Heyman guy, and that was Jericho, which I didn't agree with. But uh, I think Curtis Axel will prevail here. I think Paul Heyman will probably interfere and distract Miz, and uh, he may do something, and then... Uh, Curtis Axel will be there for like the perfect plex or something like that. And I think Curtis Axel will win via Paul Heyman's distraction here. I think it makes the most sense. Or he'll just win cleanly. But I imagine Paul Heyman went going over here with, uh, or Curtis Axel going over here with uh, Paul Heyman's interference. And then Curtis Axel perform, performing like the perfect flex, like I said. And beating Miz to retain the title should be decent. I hope Curtis Axel retains, and I think he definitely will. So my pick here, Curtis Axel. The next match we have is the World Heavyweight Championship Contract Money in the Bank ladder match. The Future All-Stars, as some people have nicknamed it. Uh, this match is the match I'm really most looking forward to because it's hard to predict. I could see a lot of people winning here. Um, I could see a lot of people, the most people I've seen pick is uh, Ambrose. They think he's going to win. I've seen some Fandango, some uh, Sandow, seen some Barrett's. Uh, Cody Rhodes, I think, I wish he could, I think he could uh, maybe be a dark horse here, surprise some people and take the thing, but I don't really see him winning this. Uh, Jack Swagger just won the, uh, um, he was the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship not long ago before he got into some trouble. And I could see Cesaro winning. My pick, I think, is going to be Wade Barrett here. I think uh, 
you could also see uh, Cesaro and Swagger getting into a disagreement here, and uh, both on top of the ladder. Same with Rhodes and uh, Sandow messing up their friendships and alliances, and uh, maybe breaking apart for good. I could see something like that happen in this match um, because every, after all, it's every man for himself. And since Cesaro and Swagger are sort of in an alliance with Zeb Coulter, and then Team Road Scholars, Sandow and Rhodes, and then Swagger and Cesaro with Coulter, I could see some disagreement happening in this match over who needs to get the briefcase, and then them getting in an argument where one pushes one off the ladder or something. I could see Cesaro winning here, or Swagger even, or even Sandow or Ambrose, but I think that... Uh, Wade Barrett's going to pick up the win. I've been waiting for him to be a World Heavyweight Championship for a while, and I hope uh, he can win this match, which I I think he could. So my pick here, Wade Barrett. Next match we have Money in the Bank All-Stars, uh, Randy Orton, RVD, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Christian, and Sheamus. Kane was originally supposed to be in it, but he was taken out by the Wyatt family and was announced at WWE.com that he will unfortunately not be able to participate in this match. I didn't see Kane winning this, so it doesn't, I mean, it will be cool to see him in it, but he's not, I don't think he, I didn't think he was going to win it. I don't know who's going to replace him. There's been rumors swirling. It could be Ray Wyatt. Uh, he just debuted. I could see him going in, but I, I wouldn't see him winning. Um, whoever comes in, I don't see them winning, replacing Kane. Probably somebody from SmackDown, I imagine or Raw even, but uh, my pick here is going to be Daniel Bryan. I could see RVD win. I could see CM Punk win. Uh, those are probably the three likely. Christian could pull something off like another Dark Horse. He could pull this off and be a WWE champion, number one contender. Uh, so who knows, but uh, this match should be good, the All-Stars match. But my pick here, Daniel Bryan, because there's been rumors swirling, he's got a match with Cena. It's SummerSlam for the WWE Championship, and I think that makes sense. And the Bellas are going to be brought into this, too. They're girlfriends in real life. Uh, so uh, I could see uh, Brian winning here. I imagine that's probably what's going to happen, but I could maybe not. I could see Rob Van Dam pulling it off since it's his debut, giving him some momentum. Or even CM Punk winning this, pulling off the win here. But uh, my pick, Daniel Bryan. Should be good stuff. Next match, World Heavyweight Championship match, Alberto Del Rio versus Dolph Ziggler. This match is pretty good. I'm really looking forward to this. The match at Payback, I was really surprised when Ziggler lost this and Del Rio won. It was uh, used as a way to turn Del Rio heel, and Ziggler is now like a face almost. It's sort of hard seeing Ziggler as a face uh, or odd, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I think... Uh, I think Alberto Del Rio is going to retain here. He just won it last month. A lot of people were picking Ziggler, but uh, I think Del Rio is going to win. Uh, I think something, I don't know how he'll win, but I know he'll win. He'll probably use some underhanded tactics or some sneaky stuff to win. But I think uh, Alberto Del Rio is going to retain here. I hope he retains. I like Ziggler, but I like Del Rio and hope he can retain here. He's had a good uh, title reign so far as a heel, and it's been entertaining in my opinion. So, my pick here, Del Rio to retain. Should be a good match. And then finally, our main event, WWE Champion John Cena versus Mark Henry. Come on, Henry. That's all i got to say. I mean, John Cena's held the title 11 times as WWE Champion. I'm tired of seeing him win it. I'll, like he had, I mean, last year he didn't win it, obviously, but he seems like he's always getting put over. I mean, Cena's whatever, you know. Uh... Mark Henry, I think he deserves the WWE Championship. He had a great performance. This all, this feud was all set up when uh, Mark Henry had that fake retirement speech, gave Cena a hug. He put his family in there, made it personal, he had everybody fooled. I mean, everybody. Great performance, great acting by him, and then delivers the world's strongest slam and uh, challenges Cena for the WWE Championship. So he, the fake retirement speech set that up. Many people are probably going to remember that for years to come. Really cool moment. Uh, I watched it over and over again. It gave me goosebumps. But uh, I've been a Henry fan for a while now. If face or heel, I like him both. I like him better as a heel. So I really hope uh, Henry can win. I think he deserves it. Only title he hasn't won really since he's been in WWE for 17 years. 
But unfortunately, I have to pick John Cena as much as I don't want to be biased. I really like Henry, and I want him to win. And I mean, I could pick him, but that'd be biased because, to tell you the truth, I don't see Mark Henry really winning this match. Uh, I could see it happening, though. Uh, via some somebody interfering or something happening like that, but I think uh, Mark Henry, unfortunately, I don't think he'll win. I think John Cena is going to win once again and then set up a feud with Daniel Bryan for SummerSlam. I don't know what they'd do with Henry after if he lost, but uh, hopefully I'm wrong, and hopefully Mark Henry wins this WWE Championship match. I'd really like to see that happen and hope hope he can do it, but my pick here, John Cena probably give an AA on Henry, uh, showing how strong Cena is since Mark Henry is the world's strongest man, and I think that's how Cena will win, but I could see Henry winning as well, but my pick, hopefully Henry wins, but my pick is Cena. Hope you guys enjoyed my predictions, um, this looks like a good show, I'm definitely going to uh, buy it and watch it on TV, it'll be a good show, I uh, can't wait to watch it, and uh, I can't wait to hear you guys uh, thoughts comment below who you think is going to win my prediction league I'll put the link below check out my other videos and subscribe thanks guys